Okay, so up underneath the truck. Uh, all right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to get the, the pan off. So what I'm going to do is pull, pull all the bolts except for two on either side, and then I will just loosen up one side and then start to remove the other side and let that pan slowly angle down and uh, control the fluid coming out of it so I don't have a big mess. Okay, now i got the two bolts here and the two bolts here, and I broke these two on this side loose. And then we're gonna we're gonna try and control this as much as possible. Uh, I don't want to make a big mess underneath here. Yeah, that one was easy. Now I'm gonna have to try and get this to break loose. There it goes. There it goes. Like it's raining. Okay, so it looks like the excess is drained out. Now we gotta try and get a little bit more out of this pan before I can. There we go. All right, let's take a look at what we got in the pan. Uh, I mean, wow, that's uh, that's in really good shape. There's a uh, there's some stuff on here, uh, but wow, the there's nothing hardly. We'll get this all cleaned up, and we're gonna add a uh, drain plug to this as well. So. Uh, so next step, we got to get this filter off so we can get to all the different uh, areas that we need to get to. I don't know, it looks like some kind of Torx bit or something like that. There it is. All right. Tried not to drop that in there, but I did it anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the governor pressure uh, solenoid out of here. Looks like we've got four bolts uh, holding this on, so let's go ahead and get those out. All right, there it is. I just gotta get the connector loose and this bracket just comes off, set that aside. And now we've got to get this connector. There we go. All right, there's just a little catch back here on this side of it. Okay, now that we got the governor pressure uh, solenoid out of the way, now we need to get this out of the way. So we just got one more bolt to take out and a electrical connector here so we can get to the uh, overdrive uh, solenoid. Okay, all right, there's that. And now we have access to the bolts that are holding that on. All right, so let's, let's kind of get you up here and let you see what's going on. So I just unplugged this and pulled that base out of here. I'll get you in, the, get you in this frame better. Okay, so I, I just pulled this base off, disconnected the electrical connector from it. And now we've got right here, another Torx bit. And uh, I believe, yeah, I believe there's one right on the, uh, on the other side. So there's one here and one here. And then we can pull this and work the cable out around to the other, the other side here. So let me show you. You got the electrical harness that runs along here. All right, let me get this off and then we'll go around and disconnect on the other side all right just bring you back in real quick because i took the uh screws out from either side but there's also one right in the middle that right in the middle here that i did not see so all right now we're on the other side and you can see we've got 
the uh, um, overdrive sensor here, or solenoid, whichever it is, just kind of hanging. So now we got that, we can go ahead and get, there's uh, again, these Torx bits that are kind of everywhere on this thing. So it looks like uh, on either side, let me see if I can get you a better, there you go, on this side and this side. So I can see two, so we'll see if that's all there is. I said there was two, that's what I saw. So, okay, so there was the one right here. There's the one right there that I've already taken out. And then there's another one uh, right back up in there. So there's three on this. Straight above where this is at, all the way up in here on top, there's a uh, electrical connector. You just squeeze it and pulls off. And I got that off now up in here. So it's, it's off and you can kind of see it moving right there. And that connects to the other side of this up there. So this should just come off. Um, but there's also this spring. Let me see if I can, right in this area, there's a spring that goes through here. And we just need to be really careful of that, uh, that you don't damage that spring, okay? So all I have to do now is grab this and just work it and pull it off. It's It's got a couple of O-rings that go through the top side of the transmission. And you just got to work and pull those and just pull this right off. All right, so let me get that pulled down. And we should be able to uh, reset up the, the new one of these with this housing. And then put it all back together. Okay, we're uh, over here at the bench. We got the uh, housing pulled down. Uh, and it broke on the way down. So trying to get this to pull out this this here uh, Let's see would have gone like this So this is how this would have been Just like that You just got a screw here that comes off and then that comes off and there's the two o-rings that I was talking about to pull that out through the uh, housing and Apparently, it just didn't want to come, and while I was jiggling it around, it, it snapped. Then this came, and then this was still up in there, but... So, the next step here is going to be to take the new one and take our new part here, and we're going to go ahead and, and get those on there. So, let me go get the uh, Torx bit. So, the next thing we'll do... So we will get there so there's a uh, so just so you know there's a little tab or a, a whatever right here a little pin and then there's a little recess right here and so just make sure that that gets in there and that keeps this lined up where it needs to be there's that okay so this is all back together now we got the new uh, sensor on here so overdrive sensor so this is pretty much ready to go back in okay so you can see the uh, spring I was talking about right there so here this spring and it goes right in there Okay, so when we go to put that housing back on here, we got to get that pried in and push up through the uh, top of the housing with the uh, connector. All right, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, I suppose, but we should be able to get it. All right, let me get it in there. Okay, so as you can see, I have this bolted back in. I have my electrical plug up top plug back in I got that spring we were talking about uh, that went in here that's back in there and I've got my harness ran over to the other side and then you can see the uh, the sensor over there so I'm gonna have to go to the other side uh, and we'll put that in and then we can wrap this up all right okay so we're ready to put this in it's gonna go right here all right so I'm gonna bolt this back up 
Okay, now I gotta find the uh, screw that I dropped in the bucket of transmission fluid, so. Going diving. Okay. You can see here, she's installed. I'll get you in here a little bit better view. Let me just get to this. All right, here it is. So you can see we're installed. I just gotta put the rest of the uh, housing up in here and we'll plug all this in. But it's all installed, so we're, we're all installed on this end. Over here, we got our harness routed. Over here, and we're bolted in. All right, so the overdrive solenoid is installed. All right, now we can button this thing up. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go on like this. I just gotta get the uh, the bolts and get them all started, so we can get this going. And that is gonna go right here. All right, so it's gonna go right here, and then there's the. Uh, plug that plugs into it so let me get this all bolted up in there and then I will show you when I get that done all right got this all in and now we just need to uh, hook up our plug and we're bolted in so we're pretty much ready at this point to put the filter on and put the pan back on all right so I've got the uh, drain plug in, there you go, right there, and the magnet is in here, the pan's clean, and we got a gasket, so filter's on, so let's get this up and we can wrap this up. Okay, so I've got the pan in, it's all snugged up, and I got my nice little drain plug there so the next time i do my fluid it's going to be much easier so we're all good i got everything buttoned up now we're just going to add some fluid and then test it out so why don't we see if we can't take it out and see how it does yeah it doesn't Got a good shift there and a good shift there. All right, guys, so we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, I'm bringing it back home now. Everything seems to be shifting pretty good right now for me. Uh, everything seems to be good. So I hope I hope this helps uh, any of you guys out there who are looking to do this uh, on your on your truck. I hope it helps, guys. So uh, I'll catch you on the next. You know, a little piece of maintenance I do on, on uh, this truck or car or whatever. Uh, try and get it out there for you guys if you want if you want to have another set of eyes and see what's going on or how it's done. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. And see you on the next video.